Hey y'all and welcome back for collecting up the last of the stuff available. Caden, let's get your ass up here. Hey Shepard, I'm starving. What do you got? We're heading out, Caden. I'm so tired of Apollos. I'm gonna cook. Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> Come on. You want me to sit there and watch you cook? <laughs> you're not watching me cook. You're helping me drink beer. Now sit your ass down. What do we have? Canadian delicacy of some sort? Uh, sure. Exactly. We have uh, beef, we have bacon, we have beer. The foods of my people. Wish me luck. So what you're saying is Canadians are Texans. If you need luck to cook us dinner, we're screwed. Screwed? Oh, you hurt me, Shepard. Relax. It's gonna be great. Guess we'll find out. So, remember how I saved the Citadel? And then, well, you weren't there. I survived the suicide mission? All these close calls I've had, only to be taken out by dinner. <laughs> Can it at least be quick and painless? Funny. And you think I hauled your butt out of the fire all those times just to poison you here now? I just took down my clone. I gotta figure anything's possible. Huh. Do we have hot sauce? That was great. Still waiting for the botulism to kick in. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Actually, it was pretty good. I'm impressed. Thank you. I'm an enigma. I've got skills. I mean, for example, fist fight, me and James, I'd, I'd win, right? What if I fought dirty? Then expect James to fight dirty. That being said, I see absolutely nothing wrong with fighting dirty. In a fight, your ultimate goal is to be the one that isn't hurt. Goliat, sorry about your paw. We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Kreos. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The Counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms, and others as a father devoted to his son. Though his life took him to very dark places, Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. Even when he was terminally ill, he ran through worn, torn streets to reach me because he knew I needed help. You all know the results of that day. An assassin, a professional criminal, gave his life for his galaxy. And now, he can rest. Would anyone else like to speak? What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane's last stand was important. But let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. Thane took himself seriously. 
a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions, but what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Dane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Kolyat, do you, uh... was little. I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. You can only hope. I don't know if I'll be as philosophical about it. Still kind of raw. I understand. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. About what? He is feeling grateful. And I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Kepler's syndrome, it would be them. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire, I'm there. I appreciate the offer, but Counselor Valor has recently orated about funding science during wartime. My odds are good. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions. And I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. Never feels good to lose a loved one, family member, even just a friend. Over here. <clears throat> Shepard, I suppose I should thank you for my freedom. Leaving the Normandy was the right decision. It was saddening to see our crew go their separate ways. But it is better than answering questions in an Alliance interrogation room. I hope this message finds you well. As for me, I have moved into an apartment on the Citadel not far from Kolyat. I think the first attack I had frightened him. I will spare you the details. It seemed very dramatic at the time. But in comparison to the Omega Relay, it was a child's game. In any case, good luck getting the Alliance to listen to you. Let's keep in touch. Shepard, if you sent a message back, I didn't get it. I suppose communications from someone of my reputation would be restricted. The irony is, I am a danger to no one these days. I am even paying taxes on my investments. I can't expect Kolyat to do so if I don't. He is doing better. He has no significant other, and he is temperamental. But he is employed and staying out of crime. I can 
tell he's serious about changing. It has cost him more than a few friends. Send something back if you can, Shepard. I can only learn so much from news reports about you. I have tried a false identity to try to get this message through to you. We'll see if it works. I have good news and bad. The good news is that Kolyat and I took a few days to visit Earth. Light the shade of her eyes. Trill sound of chirping stops. I scan the ground. See two tiny bodies locked by claws. Excuse me. As I was saying, we saw a beautiful sunset in New Mexico and a scorpion eating a cricket. I wish you could have joined us. The bad news is, I had. I fainted and struck my head. Goliath has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital, but it's where the doctors are. And Kolyat. I love him. That means I must trust him. Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later. Well, rest in peace. And to those that get choked up over these things, all that kind of fun stuff, we cannot blame you. After all, it is not... It is not when a game gets too real that it can invoke emotions, but when it resonates too well to those with personal situations. Liara? When did I get a piano? Greetings, Commander. Shepard. I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. Why's that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover, intel to gather, a commander to save. You couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> Could you? Is there something special about this song? <sighs> On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. <laughs> She taught me to play this song while we waited. It is a lovely song. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. The person who taught me that song was a friend. I spend so much time chasing down knowledge. Sometimes I forget that there are things you learn by doing nothing. By just spending time with the people you care about. What have you learned from me? I suppose how to get myself into life-threatening situations on a daily basis. I am a good teacher. <laughs> the best. Well, I should probably go. I have reports to look over. Uh, take a break. Right. But first, why don't you teach me that song? Interesting note. The only instrument I have ever been able to play is the piano. Now, don't get me wrong, I can't read sheet music for... If it were to save my life, I just can't. I've tried, I can't. But when it just... Uh, when it comes to playing the piano, I can... I, 
I can play it relatively decently. Though it has been some years since I last played a piano, though. This place is nice. Shall I transfer over your report so that you might work here? Yes, thank you, Glyph. Glyph, can you copy that song to my personal files on the Normandy? Certainly, Dr. Tassoni. Also, out of all instruments, honestly speaking, I do genuinely enjoy the piano, the sound of the piano the most over all individual instruments. Uh, you know, making a song is the sum of its parts, but like an individual instrument playing, there's, I, I just personally don't hear anything better than a piano. Shepard. Shepard. And that brings over Mur uh, Miranda. Miranda, good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Oh, fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure. I've got just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. Sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Yeah. Saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, really. A clone? Yes. Hard to imagine. I'm not sure the galaxy could survive two Shepherds. Think of the property damage. Oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. Yeah, sorry about that. That's a shame. Shepherd, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? I got shot at. It exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. A bit, I yeah. I have to think about it. Probably for the best. Trust me. I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real shepherd? I don't know. You just do. Do I? That's the trouble with clones. You can never be sure. Come on. You rebuilt me from almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. Well, clone or not, I'm the only shepherd left. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. Oh, I what a shame. Life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do. Okay, let's see if I've got any new mail now that I've had a small chit chat with those boys. Okay, no new mail. I'm going to take a little look around, see if there's anything new. And if not, we'll see y'all next time for the Codex. So we've got our little thing with Cortez here.
Welcome aboard, Shepard. So where are we going? Activating external cameras. I didn't know this shuttle had virtual windows. Bet there's more you don't know about this bird. What's that supposed to mean? Before Mass Effect fields, there was no such thing as inertial dampeners. Yeah? Here, feel this. Whoa! That, my friend, is unadulterated momentum. Wanna really feel it? Go for Show it. Me. Doesn't take much to pull a few G's. Back in the day, pilots would wear G suits. It squeezes your body so that the blood stays in your head in tight maneuvers. I'd wear a G suit when flying my trident. In a fighter, it's common to transfer power from the inertial dampeners to other systems. You miss flying fighters? Can't imagine you're too thrilled to be flying a shuttle. Hell no. I'm not just any shuttle pilot. I'm your shuttle pilot. Wouldn't have it any other way. When you're on the ground, weapon in hand, you're invincible. But when we're approaching an LZ, you're just another soldier. Vulnerable. Nothing you can do if we're shot down. Getting you to the ground alive is a responsibility I wouldn't trust to anyone else. Me neither. I'm fortunate to have you, Steed. Anytime, Shepard. Alright. Back to looking around. And we got Jacob to hang out with. Hey, Shepard, over here. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. What's up? Out for a little R and R. You? Exactly. Same thing. Hey, Jacob. I'm out of credits. <laughs> Who are they? The parents are MIA. Volunteered to take them on for the weekend, get their minds off things. What about us, Shepard? There's got to be a game of skill in there with our names on it. I'm on it. Let's do it. Great. Ugh, ooh. Ankle's killing me. Rock'em Sock'em Robots. This is your game of skill. Now, Shepard, I'll try not to embarrass you. Really? Trash talk? A shattered Ezo? Hell yeah, my pride is on the line. Also, these kids look up to me, so I have to take you down. You're gonna take me down? I don't think so. Well, step up, Shepard. Although it might be tough not having your squad to carry you. You're on. No Big pressure, words, Shepard. little man. People already idolize you. So when you choke, it won't matter. You're crowding <laughs> Am I? My bad. Stand back, everyone. Shepard needs extra room to make the magic happen. Ready? Let's do this. Glad none of your friends are here to see your humiliation. Is that all you got? Come on, come on, come on! Best two or three? Yeah! The <laughs> and that's how it's done, kids. You couldn't just let me win just once? Come on, Shepard. Let's grab some food. I'm buying. Alright. Well, once again, going for the lookout. Wait, it says. Time to wait for the Joker. I was here when Cerberus attacked, and I don't remember seeing you. I think I caught a glimpse of Commander Shepard fighting over by the elevator bay, though. 
Well, yeah, Shepard was protecting the council, but I had my own problems to deal with. You see, I was down by the docking bay near CSEC headquarters. Oh, here we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Commander Shepard is chasing the council! This is our chance! Oh shit! Cerberus! Ha ha ha! It's Joker! He can barely walk! How's he going to stop us? <laughs> like this. It's joking time. <laughs> That's the best catchphrase you got, dude. Shepard, you? I don't think so. Okay, trying not to be offended there. Look, if Shepard were here, Shepard is here. Uh, Shepard, hi. I'm Commander Shepard, and I'll vouch for my pilot. Jeff Moreau is a hero. Everyone in this room owes him their lives, myself included. I'm so sorry, Commander. I had no idea. Drinks are on me, Lieutenant. Ah. Uh. Thanks, Commander. You can pay me back later. <laughs> Alright, I think that is just about everyone, though. I'll do one more little look around, and we'll either end the episode here, or see if I find something else. Found something else. Little device over near that wall that I was next to. Panic, keep the calm. Tiana, distract the bouncer. Birch, you take the vault. Avoid the thermal sensors. They trigger the lockdown. You'll hit motion sensors, and that'll alert security. Burke, steal a uniform. You go in as security to fake the arrest. Whoops, I seem to have the wrong casino. Kasumi? <sighs> take a walk, guys. I can explain. Don't worry about it. I believe I hired you because you were the best damn thief in the galaxy. Sweet talker. Are you hard up for credits, or is this just to stay in practice? People who can't get to the Citadel are having a rough time out there. This place has more money than it knows what to do with. It can help those refugees survive. And it's not like the owner can spend it if the Reapers win. So you're robbing the rich to help the poor? I'm doing what I do. Raiding Cerberus bases and infiltrating Reaper-held locations is fun. But I'm a thief. Stealing? It's who I am. Without it, I... By the way, are you gonna call security? Eh, go have fun. Just don't get caught, okay? Hey, come on. I never get caught. Come on, guys. Show's on. Excuse me, is there a problem? Not at all. No. No problem at all. All right. Well, Alenko should be somewhere around the Citadel, because I haven't run into him yet, so I'll see y'all when I see him. All right, so I decided to check the apartment before going to the Citadel proper. Miranda wants to go to the casino. Uh, apparently something's going on with C-Sec. Steve Cortez wants to hang out. Samara wants to hang out. And Trainer wants to, uh, uh, thank me. Well, 
I'll do one more episode on top of this because there's still a little bit more than I thought there was. So we'll see y'all next time.